Hello again, I am Blunty. This is an X399 motherboard. That is the TR4 socket. That is a thread ripper over there. And this is the special tool you're going to need to put that into there because this is a brand new socket and uh, they've designed it in a way that uses a torque wrench. So you uh, apply a very specific amount of torque to the three retaining screws here to keep an even and secure pressure on the socket without doing any damage. Um, and it's actually quite a clever little rig. I mean, it's it's a lot more complicated and uh, sort of less user-friendly than the sockets on consumer baseboards that you may be used to. But then again, this is not a consumer board. This is the high-end desktop stuff where, you know, they may expect that most users, or at least people putting the systems together, will have a higher skill set or at least be a little more comfortable with things like torque wrenches. So... Let's pop this open. This is the first time I've done this, so let's see how many mistakes I make. So, pop that one up there, and I presume that these screws are self-retaining, so they don't fall out and flop all over the board and find their way into delicate places. At least I hope so. Do do do. Certainly sounds like it so far. Anyway, ooh, ooh. hey, it's, ooh, it's spring-loaded too. Look at that, boy, 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 boy. Okay, I'm just going to sit here and play with this for a while. Um, we'll, we'll cut back in a second once I get bored of this. Boing. Okay, let's get on with it. Um, so, this plastic cap here. Yeah, that's part of the um, system, but this plastic bit here is not, I presume. There we go, that slides out of there. So that's just the thing that protects everything. Obviously that needs to go, because plastic is not a very good uh, conductor of plastic. And that one there protects all the billions and zillions of pins. Well, not billions of zillions. Very delicate pins there. So don't, uh, it's not for the finger poking. So here's the thread ripper chip. And I'm going to try desperately not to drop it on top of those pins there as I waggle it around here. But in its little orange retaining sleeve thing. And the whole idea is this slides through here like so. Snaps into place exactly where it should be. So now the whole idea is, this comes down and it's designed to sort of lay flat and lay evenly on these pins in a way that will not damage them. If, if this was a traditional uh, uh, socket where you had to sort of just place the CPU down, because this is so much bigger than a regular chip, getting it in place in the right orientation and getting it to go in flat and steady and level and everything so you don't accidentally squish one side of it and all that kind of stuff, is uh, it'd be tricky. So that's why they went with this sort of system here. So presumably, the, can I? there we go. So that plugs down there. Now it's in place. It's perfectly even and everything. So now the retaining bit goes over here. We can hold that down. This is where the torque wrench comes in. So this will not allow me to over tighten this, in theory at least. So if I shut up when I try and over tighten it, you should hear some clicking from the torque wrench, right? A few more turns. There it goes. Click. See that? Click. Beautiful. So now we do the same thing over the other sides as well. My. I don't think I'm home on that screen. Let me press down a bit. No? Okay, let's do this one then. There we go. Home on that one. So, screw, screw, screw. And at, uh, I think, and I, did, I meant to check this before I started this video. I think it's 1.8 Newtons or 1.6, one or the other. But, uh, clunk, there it goes again. So, this allows for perfect installation every time so long as you don't lose your special torque wrench which they give you with every thread ripper I guess it maybe does matter if you lose it after it's in there in case you want to remove it again but I guess if you're removing it then you're removing to replace it with another chip in which will come with its own torque wrench anyway so at this point I could probably throw this away except for the fact that this particular chip has to go back to AMD to be passed on to the next reviewer in line so probably best to hang on I mean why wouldn't you hang on to this anyway so have a little keepsake, I guess. Anyway, you could drill a hole in it, put it on a keychain. That way everybody knows who, well, everybody who sees your keys, I guess, will know you have a thread ripper system. <laughs> so um, everything else from here on in is exactly the same as pretty much every other CPU on the market. You get this special retaining bracket here for the um, water block, which will fit around uh, the most common type of water block used in several different brands of uh, all-in-one coolers. But there will, of course, be um, specific thread ripper or a TR4 socket based uh, coolers coming to market. But until then, this just makes sure you've got a few other options out there. So as you can see, these are sort of off-centered and, and offset and everything. So you can't accident, I mean, there's, there's only one right way around to screw this in. So um, yeah, 
Next up, I'll have to put this together, build a system around it, install a bunch of uh, software and games and things and put it through our spaces, and I'll come back to you in uh, a fistful of days with my first impressions, with reviews, with benchmark, with tests and all that sort of stuff. So if there's something in particular you want me to test out on this thing, now is the time to let me know. Because the unboxing and the installation method, the two videos here, are the only things I'm allowed to show you so far. Um, but yeah, I actually really like that, uh, that sock. I mean, I don't know whether I love having to have a tool just to replace a CPU socket or not, but it is a really clever way to do it. And, you know, pretty much foolproof. You'd have to be incredibly clumsy to screw that up. I mean, it's not even like the um, the other sockets where you have that little golden triangle down in the corner. You have to get the, right, that round the right way, and it is possible to actually put it in the wrong way if you're really, really determined. This You can't, you can, literally cannot install this the wrong way. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you, if you're clumsy, you could probably drop something on those pins and damage them, but, you, you know, it makes life as easy as possible. And um, I'm going to have to check the reviewer's guide that they sent me to find out exactly how much thermal paste and where to put it on this enormous chip because I don't think a little pea-sized dot right in the middle there is uh, probably the right way to go because there's four chips in here. Um, so maybe two stripes that way or that way or I don't know, draw a pentagon or happy face or self-portrait. I don't know. I'll have to check. But <laughs> I'll let you in on that in the videos uh, down the track a little bit, just a fistful of days away um, when I can, when I'm allowed to talk to you more about this. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I am Blunty and we'll catch you next time.